Hi, welcome to another video from SQL Maestros. In recent times, I have delivered quite a few sessions focusing on query tuning. I talked about implicit conversions, expensive sorts, hash operations, index tuning, statistics, and amongst all of this, I also talked about expensive bookmark lookups. Last year, I did a session called six query tuning techniques that will solve 75% of your SQL Server's performance that was delivered at Data Platform Summit. I also did a session at Pass Summit that was developer best practices and a couple of other sessions with uh, SQL Saturday and Group Buy Conference, etc. where one demo was quite prominent, which was bookmark lookups sometimes are very expensive and there are a few things that you can do about them. You know, when we delivered those sessions, uh, the code and the demo is all scripted and engineered, so we know what to expect. There was a common question amongst many of these sessions, which is, while the demos are all great and the solutions are even greater, how do you actually find out expensive bookmark lookups in the production server? In other words, you have to go inside the plan cache, pick up and extract all the plans that have bookmark lookups, and yet those lookups have to be expensive. When I say expensive, I mean that the lookup operator itself has a cost of, let's say, 80% or 90%. So this demo is going to focus on finding expensive bookmark lookups or just expensive lookups from the plan cache. But here is a quick background. If you want to watch those sessions, um, navigate to sqlmaestros.com. If you go to sqlmaestros.com, you have this recent SQL video section. Go to the full library. So it says access full video library and jump over to the video library tab, which opens up and scroll down. You will see a webinar section because I'm recording this video now just to ensure that the six query tuning techniques video, the session is right up there as the first video under webinars. And if you open this up, jump over to the 55th minute of this video. That is where I showed the bookmark lookup example. And you can see here that this bookmark lookup has 80% cost. Well, I'm going to run this again and show you the cost factor, but this is the precursor. If you are wanting to first get that knowledge and background information, watch this video. You may watch the whole session and learn about other query tuning techniques also. But if you're only interested in bookmark lookup, Go to sqlmaestros.com, locate this video and jump over to 55th minute to understand what these expensive bookmark lookups are all about, why they happen and how you can go about fixing them. Sometimes you may rewrite the query, sometimes you have to do a bit of indexing stuff, so on and so forth. Also remember that depends uh, on when you are watching this video because sometimes the order of videos are different and they get reshuffled. So uh, it may not be exactly the same as I have shown you in this video. Anyway, now is the time to go and jump over to our code and understand how to find expensive bookmark lookups. So I'm going to go into the VM. Let me close all of this stuff first very quickly so that I start it from scratch. Okay, so here is this script, which is again going to be available to you from uh, sqlmaestros.com. And uh, in window one, let me first copy this piece of code and put it in a new window there. And let's get started. So I'll free the proc cache first and then use AdventureWorks 2016 for the purpose of demo. There are two simple scripts here, uh, queries. Select start from person dot person where last name is equal to Duffy and then first name is equal to Terry. Turn on actual execution plan so that you get the plans for both of them. Let's execute. You get the output, hop over to the execution plan and you will observe that for both of these queries, there is a key lookup now. Uh, the first key lookup is 68%. Uh, so let's take the cursor over here and you can see that the cost factor is 68%. And for the second one, let me just scroll down a bit, a bit more and you can see that the, oops, the cost factor is 25%. So two plans um, and two key lookups happening there. One is slightly more expensive than the other. Now, as I said, this video is not about um, fixing key lookups and trying to solve that as a problem. This video is about finding uh, expensive lookups. This is the stored procedure that I ran in the short video. So let's go and run this now. 
to find out the plans that have expensive lookup. So you get the plans here. Let's click on the first one out there and you can see that this plan with 68% shows up there, right? This is what we want. And now is the time to jump into the actual query behind that stored procedure, which is helping us find or extract these execution plans from the plan cache. Before we do that, let me run this query again and show you the XML plan. So every execution plan, this graphical execution plan actually is lot of XML code. I'm sure you know that already. So right click and go to show execution plan. When you jump into the XML version of the plan, things are a bit different than what you see graphically. Uh, but nonetheless, let's focus on some important aspects. Uh, the first one is uh, the statements here. Uh, statement simple and I'm going to look at the overall plan cost which is statement subtree cost so you can see the number out there that is the first thing that we want to find out uh, statement subtree cost is uh, 4527 let's go to the execution plan and take the cursor over here and you can see that this number is what you see in the XML fair enough the next thing is lookup we need to find the lookup operator. So let's do uh, control F and jump over to lookup. Now, um, quickly, there is no relational operator which says as lookup. It is actually the cluster index scan or seek with this attribute lookup equals to true. And um, that's what we need to find out. And yes, there is one of them here. Now, remember, there's another thing that you need to know about the lookup. There are two types here, bookmark lookup and RID lookup. RID stands for row identifier. If the base table has a clustered index and the lookup is happening on that clustered index, then it's bookmark lookup. Otherwise, it's a heap and the lookup is called as RID lookup which is looking up on the row identifier. Essentially, the operation is same. It's just that because the base table has a clustered index or doesn't have, that's the difference. Now, this lookup also has a cost, which we spoke about. So let's just scroll up and find the estimated uh, total subtree cost for the lookup itself, which is 0 0.00715461. This is the number. So if you go to the execution plan there and hover over key lookup, and let's zoom in a bit and find that this is the estimated subtree cost. Now remember these two costs. For the select operator, the estimated total subtree cost that we see is essentially the cost of the overall plan because select is the uh, first operator. So when you talk about the subtree from the select, which is the first operator, subtree means the entire plan. But for lookup, which is one of the last operators out there, subtree cost would mean the cost of the uh, operator itself. Keep these numbers in mind, I mean that I showed it to you and because we're going to use them in our query. We're not going to use the number but the concept. So let's go uh, to the query itself. Now let's see what query have we written. This is the query behind the stored procedure. So let's ignore the stored procedure for the time. We can just focus on the query itself. What we have to do here is work with multiple DMVs and then write some XML code, um, specifically X query to traverse uh, in that XML hierarchy. I'm not a great T-SQL guy, but I somehow managed to write them and just get the output. So you will definitely write much better code than what I'm showing you right now. I'm sure about that. That is one. Second is the query that you're seeing right now on the screen is not production ready. It is a much simpler version of uh, the production ready query uh, because I, this is just an academic demo. So I just kept it very simple. First, Microsoft all um, XML uh, spaces uh, schemas are defined here. You can go to this URL and you can see the complete uh, schema for the show plan. Next, we are working with certain DMVs. The first DMV is dim exec query stats. You know that this is one of the most popular and widely used DMVs whenever we are dealing with query tuning stuff. And it has a whole lot of attributes, very overwhelming. One of the attributes is the plan handle that we need. 
and we are going to supply that plan handle to another DMF. So this is a dynamic management function which takes one input plan handle as the input which comes from query stats. We are using the cross apply operator here which means that the function is going to be applied on every record from the outer query and uh, there has to be a match based on the plan handle. And then we do a cross apply on another DMF which is dim exec uh, SQL text to get the query text and again there is an attribute called SQL handle which comes from the query stats again to get the query text. So if you see the output that I showed you which is here okay when I ran this one just to show you I was trying to get the text and the plan handle and the query plan. Now <clears throat> let's go and look into the query itself okay so now comes the interesting part which is cross applying with the XML elements here. So we are, I'm going to use the XQuery nodes function to navigate in that XML hierarchy and I'm trying to get the statements as uh, QPN that's the allies that I give and then again I'm cross applying with the nodes uh, inside statements and I'm going to uh, traverse the relational operator uh, where I say lookup is equal to one. Now this is the catch here. Here it is lookup equals to one because that's how it is defined in the plan cache uh, from from the engine, but the XML output that you saw uh, you saw it said uh, lookup equals to true. So just a bit of intricacies there, and this has been I've put this allies as scan look. So what we are trying to do is uh, in the result set that we are preparing in memory, we are traversing these XML child elements and getting everything into the result set. But finally, what I do is I put up a where clause to find out that the cost of the lookup. So I say look dot value. So this cost, which is of type float, you know, the attribute is estimated total subtree cost should be greater than equal to the overall plan cost should be greater or equal to uh, than the overall plan cost. And that's why I say QPN dot value, which is my statement plan cost statement subtree cost which is again of type float and then I can play around here. So if I want this to be let's say 50% more than equal to or more than 50% I say 0.5 and if I say um, let's say 0.25 so this is more than uh, or equal to 25% and th this is the catch here because you want expensive plans right so you can just say into 8 so you can you or let's say just 0.7 for us to deal with the one that we are doing uh, the demos so here if you say 0.7 you are trying to find out all the lookups that have their cost more than 70 percent of the overall plan cost so when you run this piece of code um, which is behind the stored procedure you get okay now 0.7 so there is nothing greater than 0.7 because the cost of that was 68 percent so let's put that as 0.65 so you get 65 percent and let's go and execute this and there you go so you get three instances of the same plan and let's go and select this and there you go key lookup 68 percent let's close this and what if you really want both the plans so let's do this one now so let's go and free the proc cache and execute both of these okay so let's put up a go here and execute both of them together Let's go and change the code a bit. Sorry, where are we? Yes. And the other one had 25% cost. Give me all the lookups that have cost greater than 20%. And let's go and execute this. There you go. And you get the first one with 68. Okay, first one is 25%. That's fine. So this is the one that you were wanting to find out, the less expensive one. And where is the other one? Oops, oops, where are the queries? And this is the second one with 68%. Now remember when you are writing such scripts to find expensive plans from the plan cache, avoid running them on the production server because this might be a very expensive query. You know, because when you write such queries, remember uh, the engine has to shred the entire XML and you're traversing and searching inside the XML. Imagine how expensive this query could be and it may take quite a while to run because if you're 
production server at that very moment is already under some kind of work pressure and you have thousands of plans in the plan cache so you are traversing inside every plan trying to find out a lookup operator and then you are filtering on top of it so this is going to be very expensive there are techniques like for example you can just get the entire plan cache into a temporary table in your baseline database back up that database and restore it on your test or dev environment and try to find everything inside that but then you will also need the data of the supporting dmvs that's another discussion on how you can baseline and troubleshoot etc but then uh, here is the warning just don't take this query or any other such query and run on production servers because that might be quite expensive on the production server so with this we come to an end of this video the intention here was to show you uh, some code snippets on how you can go and uh, find out expensive bookmark lookups from inside the plan cache hope it answers a lot of questions and there is something uh, new that you have learned hope you learned something useful and hope you have enjoyed happy learning see you soon in another video goodbye